Well, folks, here we again for the weekly forecast. During this last week, the big system that moved through the middle of the week did drop some welcome precipitation across the Panhandle, portions of the southwest and the west central portions of Nebraska, and also including the northwestern Sandhills region. We had precipitation totals ranging anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to up around three quarters of an inch. The heaviest totals reported so far come out of the southwestern Panhandle, and we did see that mix of rain and snow develop across a sizable portion of the Panhandle before the system moved toward the east. In eastern Nebraska, we really missed out on much of the precipitation as we got in the drier region of the storm system. So just a few sprinkles were reported before that system re-energized that passed to the east of us and dropped some fairly significant moisture across portions of eastern Kansas and Missouri and Arkansas. Now as we go through this next week, we are looking for another system to come through as we go into the middle of next week. But otherwise, this weekend looks to be cool with a gradual warming trend as we go into the early part of next week. So let's take a look at the upper air models. What we will see is that system that did bring the precipitation to western Nebraska now sits over the Great Lakes. It is extending a piece of energy toward the south, and we are expecting to see some type of low pressure system system develop so on this extended pieces of, of the uh, frontal boundary and as it moves toward the north and east it will strengthen so as we go into tomorrow what you're going to see is here's that little piece of energy starting to generate itself may actually induce some clouds in southeast Nebraska and a little bit cooler temperatures in the remainder of the state but if this is being an overplay by the model we would expect to see a fairly nice day statewide on Sunday temperatures primarily into the 60s with maybe the outside chance for 70s across the southwestern part of the state now as we get into Monday we start to see the system approaching the western United States that brings us in a southwest flow so all of us should see a nice day, a little bit windy here across the state, but we will see warm temperatures primarily in the 60s with an isolated 70s, not out of the question over portions of south central Nebraska. As we get into Tuesday, the system starts to eject out. Right now it's bringing the heaviest precipitation across the western half of the state with the ability with the, as it passes through, getting on the backside, possibly generating once again a mixture of rain and snow across the panhandle and portions of the western sand hills. Further east, where we were probably going to not see much precipitation until we get the overnight hours, and that will clear through the state during the early morning hours of Wednesday, bringing in a northwest flow and much cooler air into our region. Right now, the models are indicating the potential for mid to upper 30s across north central northwest Nebraska in the wake of this system before we start to see very cool conditions push toward the east and a brief warm up on Thursday with temperatures raising about 5 to 10 degrees before another frontal boundary starts to push through Thursday night into Friday, bringing once again a shot of cool air into the state and a gradual northwest flow. So temperatures look to be on the cool side as we end the next week. So if we look at the 8 to 14 day forecast, we are looking for a very nice weekend, except for a little bit on the cool side, before we see that system move through on Tuesday with the best chance of precipitation across western Nebraska. And as we go later into the week, we see a reinforcing shot of cool air on Thursday before we start to see a gradual warm up on Friday. So we look at the 8 to 14 day forecast looking like above normal temperatures to the east and in terms of precipitation keeps most of the precipitation well off to our east. The new 30 day forecast for November indicates the warm temperatures to the east and an increase in precipitation much farther to the north than it was in the middle of, of October.